When it comes to manga and anime, Demon Slayer is definitely one of the most polarizing works out there, with fans talking about the amazing art and choreography, and with detractors criticizing the plot and the character. One of these characters is Inosuke, the boar head wearing warrior. At first this character seems kind of stupid, but I think there's more to him than meets the eye. I'll now proceed to spoil the entire series for the sake of this analysis. Inosuke's life had a pretty unfortunate start, with him being born into a family with an abusive father. Thankfully, his mother fled her husband, and the family settled in with the Paradise Faith cult. The pair's misfortune would continue, with Inosuke's mother finding out that the cult's leader was a cannibal. She took her son and fled, but the cult's leader, a demon named Doma, cornered her at a cliff. Inosuke's mother threw him off the cliff and into a river, and although she was able to save her child, she was not able to save herself, as she was eaten by Doma. Luckily for Inosuke, he was found and raised by a grieving boar who had recently lost her child. After this boar passed away, he wandered to some farmland, wearing only a cloth from his mother and his boar mother's head. I'm unsure about this next statement, but I think it's meant to show a lack of a maternal figure in Inosuke's life. A farmer would take care of Inosuke, teaching him how to read and write, and eventually, Inosuke would return to the wilderness. One day, Inosuke would meet a demon slayer, and they'd compete to see who was stronger. Inosuke won, and was given the demon slayer's sword as a reward. This interaction is what inspired Inosuke to join the demon slayer core. I think it's pretty interesting how Inosuke didn't really even know what the demon core was, despite Doma killing his mother. The only reason Inosuke even joined the demon core was to test his strength against others. Another thing about Inosuke is his name. His surname, Hashibira, roughly translates to flat build, and it is theorized that this is a reference to swans, more specifically the ugly duckling story. In this story, a swan is raised by ducks, and although it's pretty ugly at first, as it grows older, it becomes a beautiful swan. This relates to Inosuke and how he was raised by boars, doesn't really fit in with society. Despite wearing a boar mask, he has a very pretty face, being a beautiful man underneath a rough exterior. This also relates to his personality, in how although he's a pretty abrasive of guy at first. Under all his bravado, he's a kind-hearted man. Inosuke passed the final selection and wandered into a demon's home, where he was trapped for a few days. Eventually, Inosuke ran into Zenetsu and Suichi, and they got off to a pretty bad start. With Inosuke fighting Tanjiro, eventually they worked things out, and the new group would return to the Wisteria house to recover. After they recovered, the group headed to Mount Nadaguma to deal with some spider demons. During this battle, Inosuke rushed in and almost got himself killed. Tanjiro saved him and tried to get Inosuke Inosuke to fight with them as a team, but due to his stubbornness, Inosuke refused to do so. Inosuke thought of fighting more of a competition between Tanjiro and himself, which led to him sustaining injuries. This resulted in Tanjiro trying to get Inosuke to safety, but because of his stubborn nature, Inosuke insisted on staying and fighting. Eventually, Inosuke's blades broke, and if it were not for Gyu saving him, he would have died. Even after all this, Inosuke still challenged Gyu, who easily subdued him. The beatings from the demons in Gyu, along with not being able to keep up with Tanjiro, would harm Inosuke his confidence and ego. He would later accept that he is weak, and he apologized to his peers for his performance during the battle. Similarly, while Inosuke was being choked out during the battle, his life flashed before his eyes, and he saw a vision of his mother. After this, Inosuke would become a bit more interested in his past. After the group recovered, they went for a little train ride. At first, Inosuke thought the train was an animal. Anyways, the boys were accompanied by the demon slayer Rengoku, who they looked up to. Unfortunately, the group only defeated one of the two demons they encountered, and Rengoku was killed. His loss heavily impacted the boys. After yet another recovery, the boys were tasked with accompanying the sound Hashira Tengen to the red light district in search of demons and one of Tengen's wives. The boys disguised themselves as women and were sold to different houses, and Inosuke discovered that the missing wife was being held captive in the home he was in. After some investigating, Inosuke found an obi that a demon used to absorb people. This information was shared with other demon slayers, and they would go on to battle and defeat the demons in question. I think the red light district was a bit of a turning point for Inosuke, as he came off as significantly more serious-minded and mature about demon slaying and the investigation. I believe that this change in mindset was caused by the death of Rengoku. An interesting thing about this arc is how the demons that the group was fighting were actually turned into demons by Doma. Inosuke isn't really present in the Swordsmith Village arc, and he doesn't really do anything besides push a rock during the Hashira training arc, so there isn't really much I could say about him. In the final arc, Inosuke unknowingly confronts the demon who killed his mother. Doma. Doma has also killed Shinobu, which furthered Inosuke's will to defeat this demon. Throughout their fight, Doma mocked Inosuke and his techniques, and he eventually knocked off Inosuke's mask. Doma recognized him. Inosuke stated that he didn't have a mother, and that the boars were his family. Doma detailed the story of Inosuke's mother, mocking her for his actions. I am not going to spoil it since it's pretty interesting, but working with his peers, Inosuke was able to behead Doma. Despite defeating Doma and avenging his mother, Inosuke didn't really feel too good after the battle. He felt sad how he never got to know his mother. 
mother, and he grew up with a lack of a maternal figure in his life. Despite not knowing his mother, Inosuke was aware of how much she must have loved him, especially since she ultimately gave her life to save him. As opposed to wallowing in his sorrows though, Inosuke worked to better the lives of those around him. An interesting thing about Inosuke and Doma is how they're complete opposites. Inosuke is brazen, abrasive, and outwardly unapproachable. He masks his true self and hides his beauty with what he believes to be beautiful. He's also a very emotional guy, and prioritizes being genuine over anything else. This contrasts Doma, who's kind of a smooth-talking pretty boy that, while at first seems to be a solid, charming man, is actually a cold, calculating demon. Throughout the story, Inosuke learned to take on a support role in life, helping those around him, even when fighting the monster that killed his own mother. Doma is the opposite here, taking advantage of others for selfish reasons. This could be seen in how he created a cult, and how he treats those around him. Despite coming off as a beast, Inosuke is far more human than Doma ever could be. Doma is just a really good foil to Inosuke. But yeah, that does it for Inosuke. Thank you for all your recent support on my latest video. It really means a lot to me. But uh, yeah, later gamers.